Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm smiling. It's Sunday morning, so the same day the video goes out. I'm out on a ride with Alex, and we're gonna pick up Tristan. You can't see him. I'm pointing to the village where he lives. It's Sinterklaas today, which is a big celebration in our household, just because I haven't been to the Netherlands for a while, but it's very much part of our life. So I need to work up a little bit of a calorie deficit before we get home and gorge on loads of food. I'm happy. Not only is it mega windy, which I actually really like on a road bike, but I'm on a road bike for the first time in three months. I've not ridden a road bike since my bike went back to St. Pyrrhon at the end of August, start of September, when they rode the Tour of Britain. I've been riding my gravel bike, adapted to become a road bike, and it's been fine. But there's nothing quite like a road bike. So this is my Lapierre Pulsium sat with SRAM Rival AXS and the big 80mm alt wheels alt air wheels in there as well i have put the negative stem the bike is a size large i would ideally probably take a size medium but it is 2021 it doesn't matter who you are where you are there is a shortage of certain bike parts in the world so i have set it up with a negative stem to try and reduce the height of the head tube it weighs just over nine kilos on my bathroom scales that's subtracting my body weight from the measurement it has a 46 33 front setup and loads of gears at the back it's a 10 the highest gear and i think it's a 36 at the back as well so it's got a really really good ratio obviously with the wireless gears you can connect it up to the garmin or the wahoo whatever you use to see how many ratios you're using 172 and a half cranks i do need to put my rotor stuff on there you can see i've got the bottle i do like the rotor cranks for the power meter so i need to sort that out with a different bottom bracket and the frame design is all about this little elastomer up in here designed to make it more comfortable. I'm looking forward to bringing you loads of different adventures on it over the next few months. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Falling back in love with road riding. Gonna find out what it's like, but it's put a big smile on my face, hasn't it, Alex? I've been grinning all morning. I have been grinning all morning. It, it's like when you get your first ever road bike, if you've not ridden one for a while, you forget how responsive they are and just how much they wanna go fast. So Alex is in for it today. <laughs> Luckily he's laughing behind me. He said, he said he's going to make me hurt on the flat bits. I do only have a compact chain set, but it does have a 4610. So actually, that's more than enough gears for most people. Let's go right. It is so gusty, it's unbelievable. I used to absolutely love racing in the wind, just because it was unpredictable to some people. But of course, it's a weather condition, you can read it. You can predict what's happening when you know the direction of the roads. So therefore, it is much more tactically involving. And that benefited me because I was never aerobically the fittest. It's good fun and also holding on for dear life. And it's fast. I'm going to have to apologise to Tristan and Alex. I got way too excited. I hurt myself. Enjoy that? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Tristan on his cross bike with even smaller gears than I have on my bike. That's hard. <laughs> it is so fast with the tailwind today. So fast that as soon as I saw a gap to Alex and Tristan, I unapologetically absolutely smashed it. I was watching it go flying by now. I'm gonna have to chase them after this. <laughs> Race is on now. I uh, waited 40 minutes awake in bed deciding what I was going to do <laughs> and I eventually left. Tristan's admitting to wanting to stay in bed and not go training. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to come cycling in the wind? Did you? <laughs> what a beautiful day. I've not only gotten wildly excited and half wheeled everyone. I've then also forced us all to stop so we can take pictures of me and my bike, which is probably a bit off, but everyone seems happy, well, I think. We'll get our own back at some point, the soft image is me. Alex, yeah, Alex promises revenge. Tristan's just always happy. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's all right, I know what I'll do. I'll take them a 500 kilometre ride. Yeah. <laughs> there is that, there is the threat. And I've also promised Lewis that I should do a 300 mile ride with him. So we'll combine them all together just once and then that's it then that's definitely it i have i have signed up i haven't got a place yet but i have signed up to the all points north thousand kilometer a thousand kilometers in two days I don't know if i've got a place though 
I'll find that on the tent. You should do after doing so well on the Pan-Celtic. Yeah, hopefully. I, I don't know how he does it. The feeling of being on a road bike and going fast, that is, that's something that just reminds me of being like a nine, 10, 11, 12 year old myself, or even older than that still. Like it was something that in my head defined who I was for so many years. All that mattered to me was riding fast on the road and it's nice to, it is so nice to feel that again. Which made me think about something this week actually. I really enjoy watching experts at work. And what I mean by that is, not necessarily a qualified expert, but just someone that has banked hundreds and thousands of hours of expertise in their field, no matter what it is. I worked with my dad and my brother for about an hour this week and just watching the way they handle tools they use every single day as farmers. It's just, it's so ingrained. It's almost, it's almost just, it is nature to them. Just the way they pick up a shovel, pick up a rake, whatever it is. It's just one of those things that you just have to appreciate when someone is skilled and experienced in their field it is amazing to watch and that for me was something that was highlighted this year when i tried to do cross-country mountain biking i could be fit i can be technically good but trying to link up those two things together to make it intuitive and instinctive isn't on tap in the same way as it is on the road it's one of those things you have to constantly work at i've ridden off-road loads throughout my entire life but not at a competitive level and not in the same way as i do on the road and as i have done on the road and it's amazing then when you do ride on the road on a road bike to feel that and you're like, oh yeah, hang on. I know all the tricks that there are, every way that there is of saving energy. And I think that's the most important thing with road cycling is it is about saving energy. So like watching my dad and my brother pick up a shovel, sh saving energy, moving efficiently with the tool that you're using. That's what it is like riding on the road when you've done it a lot. And sometimes it makes it then hard to think of the skills and the techniques you're using to try and pass them on to other people because it's second nature you're not thinking about it anymore but actually when you do stop and think oh i do this differently to you and that's because xyz whatever it is you have to break it down in every single scenario whether that's breaking up to a junction when you're going through your gears as a rider that's experienced you know you maintain a little bit of pressure on the pedals so you can tell what your cadence is so you know you're in the right gear when you go to set off again it's things like that that less experienced riders don't always do maybe they do it sometimes maybe they do it because they're watching you but if you ride behind them, you notice not everyone does it. Little tiny things like that, that adds up to a huge energy saving over a, a long ride, over a week of long rides, over a year of long rides. Just little things, which are really good fun. Oh, good fun. They're interesting observations to me. I'm not gonna walk home, I'm gonna ride my bike home. I've absolutely loved being out on this this morning. It's so nice to be back on a road bike. Every bike you ride becomes normal, but the first time you ride it, it does feel new. It does feel different. And that was very much appreciated. So huge thank you to Lapier UK, as ever, for allowing me to ride really nice bikes. I have quite a few interesting weeks coming up over the next few weeks. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. One of the videos has already been recorded. It's a ride with someone you might know. I'm not gonna tell you who. If you follow my social media in other places, you'll have seen that we've already worked together, but we also went for a ride. I'm also, hopefully all being well, going to bring you more technical videos so a first look at a bike which i think will be quite exciting it'll be really exciting and if that trip goes well there should be something else coming from there as well because i know that i'm going to be on that trip with a teammate from 2007 and 8 no 2008 and 9 sorry and um, we haven't seen each other for four years i think so that'll be exciting so fingers crossed all of those things work out 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.